Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gooch from Xanarka Studios, and I am here with Ziggy. We're finally back in the pot, and uh, welcome to the shitty podcast. Um, so, so basically, for this, yeah. So basically, for this amazing video that we are doing today. We are going to be talking about multi- uh... What would you like to start off with, Ziggy? Um... Uh, do you want to do the game studios, like, fucking us over? Or do you want to do the Evolution Call of Duty? I think we should save Evolution for Call of Duty for later. So okay. let's, uh, start off with game studios. Well, so, I know that Ziggy has a little bit of experience here because he's been screwed over by Sony at least, like, Three times, three maybe? Times. Yeah. <laughs> three times now. Yeah. So, yeah. would you like to Thanks. share your experiences? Well, what do we want to start with? Like, actual game companies, or just the, uh, pro providers uh, of the let's, game? Uh, let's start with, uh, game console companies. So, like, Sony, oh. Microsoft, and Nintendo. Well, Microsoft, off the bat, fucks it over. <laughs> uh, because. yeah. Continue. So if you have an older Gen 360, like you still have to pay for your Xbox for your Xbox Live no matter what. But then you switch over to Xbox One and it immediately becomes free for Xbox Live non gold membership. Yeah. And then same thing for PlayStation. If you had the PS3, you, your online services were free without PS Plus. So you you automatically had online services the minute you signed in and logged and signed up for it. With the PS4, you have no choice but to get PS4. You fuck it. You have to pay, what is it, 60 bucks a month for a whole year? Which, don't get me wrong, isn't bad, because you get, what, two free, two, three th uh, free things every month? I mean, yeah, it it's like uh, two free games for Xbox 360 and two free games for Xbox One. Actually, uh, Xbox One has three. Really? It's three free games now. Well, I do want to point out one thing, though, uh, real fast. <clears throat> so, uh, what I do notice is that, uh, is that PlayStation, uh, PS Plus, usually gives you indie games, like, uh, nonchalant kind of, like, video games that don't really matter to anyone. Which, you know, I don't mind that, because it, it opens your, your, like, variety. And, I mean, you might as well just get them, because they're free. You could just stack up on free games. Like, shit, they just, uh, how long, ago, it was, what, three, four months ago that they made Little Big Planet 3 free? And that, I love that game. And I wasn't going to pay for it, like, full price, so the minute I saw that it was free on for PS Plus, I'm like, oh, I bet, I'm going to get that shit, and I got that shit. I, I don't regret it. And the fact that it, it's all indie games, like, that's what I mean by, like, expanding your horizons game-wise, because... Every, it's, what it's come down today is mainly the only thing people play are GTA, Call of Duty, and fuck, what would be one more? Gucci got anything? Because I know GTA, Call of Duty are for a fact always. If, if you don't have a game console, then you obviously don't have these. If you have a games console and your parents aren't strict, you immediately have GTA 5 and all the Call of Duties ever existed. Uh, let's see, like Skyrim? Skyrim, Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 2, Minecraft. Fallout Everybody has Minecraft. Um, <laughs> no, not really, not really. Because I, even I don't have Minecraft. I'm not <coughs> thinking about it. But at the same time, I might not. I and don't know. Then, I think it would be pretty fun to get like everybody from uh, the channel to kind of chill and play some Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Let's just not be like Minecraft YouTubers, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ones that rape kids. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, like... Oh, and the whole... Ha every, if you have an Xbox, you immediately have Halo. Well, Halo is one of those games that was pretty good towards the beginning of the series, but kind of drifted off after Reach. Actually, actually no, it like... It was pretty shitty at first, and then it just consecutively got better. And then they hit like uh, I... Halo, and then they hit Halo Reach, and they went downhill. 
and now they were trying to revive it again by bringing out Halo Wars 2, which, don't get me wrong, I love the original Halo Wars, I don't give a fuck what anybody says, because, let me just tell you, Halo Wars was my shit. And the fact that, uh, I might have to go in and get an Xbox One just to get Halo Wars 2, because I love Halo Wars so much, bro. Yeah, uh, you can actually get it on your, uh, on your laptop that you have. Oh, you're right, I could. Yeah, uh, just yeah. get some, like, uh, Microsoft points and, you know, get some, you know? Yep. No, Microsoft doesn't even do Microsoft points anymore. They switch over to Sony's I know. idea, which is, here's, here's how much cash it's going to be, like, there you, you go. You know, pay 50 bucks for $50 and, uh, in PlayStation yeah. money. Mm -hmm. I love how they treat it like it's your actual wallet. Yeah, because it really is. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, no, but what if I was trying to... Card, if you link your debit card to it and you have, like, a ton of money on your debit card, it, it, you really just put, like, you just buying games out of your wallet at that point. Yeah, why exactly. <laughs> no, but, uh... No, but my point was, is, like, uh, PSN will always give you, like, two crappy, like, indie games. And now, like I said, uh, well, like you said, uh, open your horizon, do all that stuff, but, uh, what, what if, um, like, you know, like, I don't like tower defense games, and there's been a couple of them on the PSN store, you know, the PS Plus, free yeah. shit. Well, it's funny, because the last two things that they just put out for this month was Killing Floor 2, and then And Life series. is Strange. No, like, Life is... is... An... What? It's an anime. It's not an it's anime. An anime. I... I looked at it literally said when I went to go play it, it was in my movies thing. Really? It's not even considered a game, supposedly. Because when I went to go play it, it's like, yeah, this isn't a game, you gotta watch it. I'm like, what the fuck? Life is Strange is a video game, my dude. I'm doing a Let's is Play it? on it, like, right now. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm doing a Let's Play on it. Is it good? Yeah, it's really, it's awesome. I haven't played through much of it. I only got to the second oh, episode. Because it's episodic. Uh -huh. So. Oh, uh, that's what it meant by it's like kind of like a TV. Yeah, but you can make your own decisions, and you can uh, okay. you have the ability to rewind time. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay, that that sounds like that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, like if you uh, if you mess up in a major sequence, you can just go back in time and fix it. Nice. Good thing I got the game. <laughs> I know, right? But, um, no, mm, but back to my point. Do I want to switch over to Infinite Warfare? Maybe. What I was trying to say, though, is, uh, you know, they usually give out indie games. It's very rare to actually get, uh, good, popular games from Sony. Little Big Planet 3. Well, little, that's, that's a different story. Like, Halloween, they released, uh, Resident Evil, the, ver the first one. Oh, really? Yeah, for Halloween. Damn. kind of regret not having it, then. <laughs> no, like, yeah, I'm but... Not, I'm not going to get a PlayStation. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I like that glitch. That glitch was so sick. <laughs> no, but, uh... Oh. It was... It was really... It was really cool because, uh... It gives you good games, like, every once in a blue moon. But, uh... Xbox, Xbox One, I'm not saying that all the games that they give out for free is are good, but uh, so you get a lot more like top titles from Xbox One and Microsoft than you do uh, PSN and PlayStation. Like, uh, I remember not that long ago they had uh, Dead Space for free if you had gold. Did they really? Yeah, they had that for free. I was like, oh my god. I'm so jealous. Um, but yeah, they, they just do a little bit more when it comes to membership uh, with Microsoft. Uh, it's because they, huh? they take care of us. Huh? It's because they take care of us. They take care of us gamers. No, I Dude, still... I'm about to go play that fucking specialist mode on Infinite Warfare. Like dead ass. I'm gonna go like get frustrated and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back now. I'm just giving me a little bit. That dude. 
but let me just break off this whole chat real quick or just like go off on that real quick let me just tell you that shit will piss you the fuck off like i don't care who you are oh or my how god good, like, quote, player you are you play that shit you're gonna get you're gonna throw your vertical a couple times i i, I have i i kill it when it comes to call of duty i'll play on veteran and i'll knock it out within like three hours even though they say normal time is four you want to speed run your shit and just knock it all out and bang it out in three. And so that's what I did. I banged out the whole Call of Duty game in three hours on Veteran. And then I unlocked that mode and now I can't even get past the first one. Idea for a video. Ziggy gets pissed off at uh, Infinite Warfare on... <laughs> on uh... That's not gonna be free. That's not gonna be free. Mm -mm. It won't be considered, quote, family friendly. friendly. I don't give a shit. That would be hilarious. That's because, um, you know, YouTube wants to be little bitches. You get to censor that out, don't you? No, I don't. It's... The thing is with YouTube, uh, we'll get to that in another topic, but I do want to talk about this real fast. The thing is with YouTube is, uh, they're trying, like, basically what it means is, like, I won't be able to mentionize it if we cuss too much. That's all it really means. Uh, and mentionizing is the best way to get money, but since we don't have a thousand, you know, a thousand subscribers, we can't actually get any money whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it really matters. So you can pretty much cuss as much as you want. Nice. Yeah. That's what I like about being like the runt of YouTube. Like we only have like 37 mm -hmm. subscribers. And, uh, 37 subscribers and we barely get anything thrown at us. I mean, except That's for cro copyright claims, which bullshit is bullshit. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not even gonna lie. Last night, I uploaded a video, uh, of that Life is Strange game. It was, like, my first video in a long while. And I uploaded it, and within, like, the first 10 minutes of it being uploaded, I got a copyright claim on it. Are you serious? I'm serious. That's a, cool. Apparently, the first 56 seconds had a song in it that I was not allowed to use. So now guess what? That's hilarious. Guess what? what? That video is now banned in 14 different countries. Are you serious? I am serious. You will not be able that to view is it. Hilarious. You will not be able to view it in the United States of America. Nobody can. Damn. Unless you're in That's Japan. Some shit. That is some shit. We'll cover that in another topic, though. Uh, back to my point. <laughs> back to the topic. Um. No, but uh. We were talking about PSN and shit, but uh, do you know of any times when game companies that actually create the games instead of the consoles uh, screwed us over? Um. Uh, well, let's see. Supply drops in Call of Duty for one. You don't have to tell me that one. <laughs> um. <coughs> some of their games just being overpriced. Oh, yes. <laughs> although, although, Infinity War did do smart, because they knew they weren't going to sell Infinite Warfare. Sorry, Infinite Warfare. And they're like, yeah, this game's not going to sell. And they dropped it. What was it? 20, 30 bucks? Cheaper than what it would have been brand new? On a nor If it was like, let's say... Fucking... Um... I'm trying to think of a game that was like huge when it came out. Uh, MW2, there we go. Where it was 60 bucks for the game. Right? And then yeah. Infinite Warfare it was 40. Damn. That's all it costs. And I'm just like, damn, bro. And then the only version that sold for 60 is the one that came with uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. Dang. If that doesn't tell you something, then there's some shit going on. And then like, 
what else? Um, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm playing Infected on Infinite Warfare, but anyways, <laughs> and now Call of Duty is being, or try our Infinity War got smart and actually, um, uh, they said, fuck it, we're just gonna sell Modern Warfare Remastered on its own, which is what they're doing this year, actually. That's it's really only all that they released. Dang. Yeah, they released that, and they're releasing their new uh, Call of Duty, which is... What should I call it? World War II? Uh, yeah, Call of Duty World War II. Which, don't get me wrong, is gonna be a badass game. Like, hands down. I saw, I've seen some shit for it. I think it's gonna be good. But hey, that's just me. Yeah, um... I did want to talk about something. So, one thing that I do think that game companies really screw us over with is, uh... uh well... You know how they release like gold edition and ultimate editions like before the game is even really released? Yeah. So you have like pre-order standard edition and it's like the standard uh, $60. Uh, pre-order deluxe edition, it's like $79. Uh -huh. And then uh, the last one which is like super ultra edition number 5, 3, 6 or whatever. And it's like yeah, 100 like fucking dollars. And it comes in a fucking tin casing. Like, don't get me wrong, that's a badass idea, but sometimes it's just not worth the price. No, like, Injustice, like, I thought was... Get out of it? I don't know, there's not much that you really get out of it until all the content comes out. Yeah, which like, sometimes not... takes forever. I just realized what this map is. Uh -huh. You remember Terminal from, uh, MW2? Yes. The one with the airplane? My maybe, favorite maybe map. Yeah, awesome. they redid it in Infinite Warfare. I just realized that. That's nice. Yeah, it actually really is, because it's all like space theme now and shit. It looks hella cool. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but, uh... Oh, okay, I got this. As you are saying? Yeah, as I was saying, um... I think fighting games are the most guilty of this because uh, fighting games are usually the games that you know that they they end up doing it a little bit more you know like Street Fighter 5 or no Street I Fighter 4 no uh, you know how Street Fighter 4 has like multiple different editions like you have Street yeah. Fighter 4 the original thing which was like you know just the usual roster then you had like Street Fighter, like Super Street Fighter 4, and it had a couple more characters sprung up in there. And then you had like Ultra Street Fighter 4, and then Omega Street Fighter 4, and it just kept on going on and on until Street Fighter 5. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then I think what sucks is when they do this towards the beginning, like I do think that it would probably be a good idea to like release a uh, a deluxe edition like maybe somewhere down the road when more DLC is coming out but not so much when you have you know when it's just like just coming out there's no real DLC coming out for it it's just yeah. the game so you're buying all this additional content that hasn't come out yet and probably won't come out for the next like four or six like five or six months and you're just stuck with a normal game until that stuff comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the video of the dog driving a car and swerving all over the road? And yeah. the chick's like, right past this idiot, and then like, they drive past it and she's like, oh my god, uh, I just saw that. My friend sent it in the uh, group chat. I mean. Dang. Um... Please. No, but I do think that they should probably wait for that type of stuff. It's, uh, it, I don't know, it's, um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, any other ways that they've screwed us over? Screwed the um, entire gaming community over? I don't know, I can't really say. I mean, I do think <laughs> there is one... 
damn, I'm sad. <laughs> oh no, never mind, I'm gonna pause. Um, there is one thing that I wanted to bring up real fast. And this uh, kind of goes back a long ways to the first ever episode I ever did on the shitty podcast. Uh, I did a feminism podcast. Oh god, dude, don't get me started on feminists. I was making fun of them, I was talking trash about them, I even told some horror stories that I personally went through with feminists. And, um... Feminists are just, they're whack. They, they need to get a life. They you know, really do. Get off the their high biggest horse. problem... They don't, know, they don't even know the original definition of being a fucking feminist, bro. I know. But, uh, no, I think what it really is is that most modern day feminists are like fat, ugly women that can't get the D and are mad that they can't get it. But I digress. Anyways, the biggest screw up in all of gaming history, Uh and I, it's slightly exaggerated because it's actually not that bad, in fact, it's kind of hilarious. But uh, in some some games, uh, you can have the option to turn like a. Okay, so the best way to explain this is you know how in certain games, the women female characters are like really sexy. Mm-hmm. You know, like the curvy that kind of thing. Well, you have the option to turn every sexy female character in a game into a fatty. Yeah. Did you hear about that one? No, I did not. Literally, that uh, that made me laugh a little bit because you never really realize how bad it is until you see, like, certain female characters from certain games just turn into complete fat slobs and trying to be serious. It's like the donut skin from uh, Uncharted. <laughs> oh, I can get up there? Wow, okay. Yeah, so basically what that one was, it was like, the donut skin in Uncharted took Nathan Drake and turned him into a, a, a fatty. Turned him all fat. So basically the entire time when you're running around, Ooh, he's like, bitch, get out flabbing around. Sorry, I got too into the game for a second there. I can tell. I haven't played Infected in forever, I'm so hyped that it's like now a game mode like permanently on here. Oh, come back, bitch, I saw you last. Oh, fuck, 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 <laughs> fuck. Uh... Are we really gonna do this? Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Oh, I saw you, bitch. I, I know where you at. Oh, I killed him. No, but uh, uh, by the way, I'm gonna have to make this short too, and then I'll have to come back to finish the video. By the way. Yeah, I. That's why I'm ending this portion of the podcast right now. So, okay. so that is uh, a brief summary of what we've, uh, what we all know as the um, the game screw ups where people screw us over, like game companies, game developers screw us over in some of the worst ways possible. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Shady Podcast. Please stay tuned for more. Uh, me and Ziggy are going to make a couple more episodes of the Shitty Podcast and kind of spread it out throughout the throughout the weeks. And uh, we hope to see you guys next time. Please leave a like, a comment down below, and subscribe for more content. Press that bell button for notifications of uh, future, <laughs> future videos. <laughs> If you're glad that we're back, leave that amazing like. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye-bye.